Hello, we're starting Helaman today. Helaman 1 through 3, so exciting. Helaman 1 is when Pahoran unfortunately is killed. And I think it's interesting to note here and also in chapter 3 that the words Nephite, Lamanite, Jew, and Gentile are kind of used intermittently and swapped for what they're being referenced for. So for example, it could be a genetic reference because that's where you descend from. It can be a cultural reference because of maybe how you are showing up. It can also reference faith. So Gentiles can be about how someone is acting and also their genetic birth. Does that make sense? And I think that's important to note here. And then it's important to note that the Lamanites in chapter 1 are starting to do the things that the Nephites did to prepare for battle. And so I made me think about how Satan gets tricky about how he comes at us. He doesn't always come at us from the same place. He adjusts and he tries to find where we're vulnerable and sometimes mask how he's attacking us. Chapter 2 is Helaman 2 takes over because Helaman 1 passes on and we are introduced to the Gadian robbers and it says here in verse 13 that they, the expansion of the Gadian robbers, literally take down the society. Chapter 3 is all this expansion. They're building with timber and cement, temples, synagogues, places of worship, sanctuaries. And verse 16 talks about how the records are kept and there's so many records. And I think that's really interesting to know that other scripture may be revealed in the future. And then Helaman dies and we're introduced to Nephi and Lehi and how they're taking over. I love that it says in verse 35 to pray and fast off and that the humility and purification that happens when we yield our hearts to God it allows us to survive all of the things that are happening. And so I hope that blesses you in some way today.